ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Nah, man, pretty much not. Just don't give up. Don't give up. Keep following your dream. Because I, I was at a cold, dark place. I wanted to just be like, forget everything. You know what I mean? But I had the right people around me. Met some new people. And I'm back at it now. Man, I started boxing. One day, my friends came through the park. The hand wraps, wrapping their hands, talking about they going to the boxing gym. So me and all the other kids that was at the park was like, yo, we want to go too. So we all started going. Come to find out, you got to be like 12 years old at the gym to go to it. But I was 11, so it was like, wait, you got to wait a year. So I waited a year, and then I came back. Uh, probably 15, 16. I was probably 15, 16, going to several gloves, going to... Uh, Junior Olympics everywhere, man. That's when I realized I take it serious. I was farm pros and stuff like that. You know, giving it to them. So I knew I was good at it at that age when I started traveling a lot. Going, making it to the nationals, winning a couple nationals, you know, coming in second, third place, stuff like that. Yeah, man, uh, as, as, you, as you've seen, you know, my career was, you know, I was fighting on TV. I was doing my thing, you know, I took a, took a loss, a little hiccup. And, uh, Got back into a championship fight, lost the championship fight, but then after that, it was like, I didn't fight after for like a year and a half. Like, I'm training right now for a fight coming up. So, you know, just don't give up, you know what I mean? It's, I was, you know, at a, at, in a hard place, man, in a hard, you know, cold, dark place with this boxing stuff. So, I'm happy I made it out, but fighting through, I was fighting through adversity, man, and, you know, I'm here today. What motivated me is what, this is what you do. This is this. this what else you gonna go back to? It? You got the fall back on. This is what you do. You box. This is, and I love, this is what I love to do. This is what I, I have fun doing. It. It's not just box. It's, it's not. It's not a job. It's just fun. When you do, when it's fun, it's not a job. And I have a lot of fun doing it. You know what I mean? So that's what brought me back. And I have family and stuff like that that kept me in it. You know. You know, and I, like my manager Pete, he definitely helped me out a whole lot. So. Big ups to him and my, uh, my family. Well, Amir is one of those fighters that, you know, he's been around for a while. Uh, I actually had, you know, I had several of my fighters spar with him in the past. Um, you know, I never really worked directly with him. Um, had the opportunity to, you know, to work with him for this camp. Uh, you know, we're, we're co-training between uh, Buddy McGirt and I. Um, and it's just, you know, it's been a pleasure because he's one of those guys that, you know, comes in, does what he has to do, he trains, he trains hard, and he does everything outside of the gym that, you know, that's expected of a fighter. You know, you want to make sure that, you know, their nutrition's on point, you know, they're sleeping well, um, and they're just doing what they have to do with no distractions. You know, he's one of those that came in to camp and decided to stay at, you know, at a facility that we have available for them. Um, you know, follow a specific meal plan that we have for, for the guys and, and just follow our protocols, you know, our training protocols. And, you know, we're hoping it, it you know, it comes to fruition. He's, you know, he's been out just about 18, 20 months from, from boxing. Um, so it's, you know, it's key to make sure his conditioning is right. Uh, make sure he goes in there. Yes, he's going to shake out some rust in this fight. Um, but we want to make sure, you know, we can get him as as prepared as possible for this first fight and then you know move on you know after camps from those you know from that fight i would say it's, it's all positivity i would say you know it's it's more structure we have plans and stuff like that we, we do things certain times do things certain days structure it out strength conditioning you know with the guys at bomberitos and and then we come upstairs for the boxing part, and we uh, we just strategic with it, you know what I mean? So, it's, 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 and I got the meals and stuff like that. So, everything is is, is is pretty much different. To see to see Julian Williams come back, uh, Tony Harrison came back. Those type of you know, that's the type of situation I was in, you know what I mean? Oh, you ain't got it no more. You da da da. You ain't gonna ever become nothing, uh, and all that. So, those are the type of dudes, you know, I like. But as a fighter, you know which what, what you can do what, and, and what you eligible what you eligible to do. So you don't really care what the fans think, cause the fans just want to see brawl out box. They don't, don't want to see bar fight. They don't want to see you no know, chess match fight. They don't want to see that. Boxers, as a fighter, you got to be smart in the ring, cause as, as, like I said, we risk our life every time we go on it. You know what I mean, so 
I don't really care what the fans got to say about that. And I'm pretty sure like the dudes that came back and made something of themselves, same way. And, and it's motivation. It motivates you to, to you know, become champion and work harder in the gym because they 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 down praying on your downfall. Um that's that's for sure to go to get a title shot. That's, but we're gonna we gonna do it we're gonna do it smart, you know what I mean? We ain't gonna just th get throw me in there, you know what I mean? We're gonna do it real smart. You can take some opponents, two, three opponents, you know, depending on how I feel. And we'll go from there. Five years from now, man. I wanna I wanna definitely, you know, be helping the younger kids out. So they don't have to, you know, go through what I went through. I would definitely want to manage some fighters and get into promoting. Definitely want to do something like that.